This is going to be a uh, short explanation of the four tests that we are looking for in the uh, campaign for the Wolfpack 2012 National Championships. The uh, four lifts are going to be the hang power clean, the back squat, the bench, and the vertical leap. With the, th the three lifts, they are going to be five rep maxes. Uh, the first thing we're going to go over is the hang power clean. So this is not going to be an instructional clip. This is really just asking you or pointing out to you what we're looking for on testing day. Okay, so there'll be a, uh, there may be a general warm-up that we'll go through or there may be things that you're going to go through in the day yourselves. Then there might be something individual uh, for each specific lift. Okay, with the hang power clean, what you would normally do is you would probably start with the bar, okay, and you would work up to your ramped five rep max, right? So, I've already done that with an empty bar, this is 40 kilos. This is what we're looking for, okay? So, uh, once the bar is taken from the ground, okay, you can hang the bar in either the high hang position, which is gonna be at the top of thigh, or you can hang from the low position, which is gonna be the top of shin, all right? But hang basically means it is not resting on the ground. That is, that, that is the definition of hang. So this would be a high hang, and this would be a low hang. Okay, what we're looking for is a five rep max, okay, that you've worked up to where the bar is going to be received in and racked at the front squat position at the shoulders. Okay, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for your, your elbows to get in front of the bar. Okay, so if I was going to take a, a five rep max here at 40, and this is going to go from the, hang, the high hang position, That would be my five rep max, okay? I would suggest the use of uh, straps. If you haven't used these before, well, it might take a bit of time to get used to it, but you're certainly welcome to. I have straps here. If you're gonna get some serious numbers on this, then the grip is definitely a limiting factor. You'll probably go to straps if you're gonna end up being competent at this. So, Okay, so to be strictly uh, accurate about this, a hang power clean, uh, why I'm, I'm including the word power in this is, if we receive the bar in the quarter squat position, that is the power position. So a hang clean would be where you actually receive it in a deep front squat. The hang power clean is what I just demonstrated. I'll show you the difference here. I'll do two hang power cleans and then I'll show you two hang cleans. Okay, so we only want the form. Okay, and this is that's a technical thing, but uh, if you're not technically apt at this, then that would be a whole other uh, video clip that we'd have to go over. And it'd be something you'd have to learn in person. Okay, so we're really looking for hang power clean. Okay, second lift we're going to go over is the back squat. This is also going to be a ramp set of five. Uh, if there was a reason that you couldn't back squat your front squat instead, that would be fine as well. Uh, just very briefly in terms of uh, what we're looking for in depth, uh, once you've unracked the bar, we're going to be able to tell this from your warm-ups, you know, how you're going with regards to depth. I'm going to define this the same way the IPF, which is a powerlifting federation, okay, how they would define it. Uh, so in the sagittal plane, what we're looking for is the top crease of the hip is going to be down in line with okay, the bottom of the knee right there. Okay, now depending on your morphology, okay, depending on the person, that will give the appearance okay, that the thigh may be either parallel to the ground, it may seem like it is 
just declining a little tiny bit, and that is going to be you know, from person to person. But I'm looking for the bony structure of the hip here is going to be down here. Okay, so your reps are going to be here. If you're already squatting up in here, that's 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 not a squat. Okay, uh, so we're going to go over and we're going to have a look and see what that's going to look like in the in the, uh, in the rack. Okay. Back squat. It doesn't matter if it's a high bar squat or a low bar squat. Um, the, the difference basically is this. This would be a high bar squat where the bar is racked up on the traps. That's fine. Okay, it's also okay if it's a low bar squat where the bar is racked and sitting on top of the rear deltoids. That's fine too. All I'm really looking for though is looking for in terms of depth. Yeah, we're trying to get that point where, as I described before, okay, the top of the hip is down at the bottom of the knee. And we're going to work up to a uh, one ramp set of five. Um, and uh, you know, that, that depth is something you should, you know, all these reps should look exactly the same. Okay, so your work sets, okay, every, all five reps should look exactly the same. That's something that should happen all the way through your warm-ups. sensible for uh, you know when you've got quite a bit on the bar and you know, most of the guys in here when they're lifting they'll probably put a belt on for their work sets not for their warm-up sets um, and the jump from their last warm-up set to their work set we'll get to in a second um, and uh, knee sleeves are fine okay that sort of stuff that, that you use basically uh, if you know anything about powerlifting raw by definition raw okay so and you know you can use uh, you can use wrist straps and things like this for the bench that's all fine, okay? Um, okay, so we'll work up to here. set of five again just like the others uh, you probably take about five or six warm-up sets and then you will take your ramp set of five I'm looking for four things on the bench when you unrack the bar looking for elbow lockout there's going to be a chest touch third thing is looking for your butt to be on the bench if your butt comes off the bench then that's that's not a rep and fourth thing is looking for your feet on the floor okay so those four things are going to determine what is and what is not one rep uh, you probably need a spotter for your ramp set. You should have a pretty good idea about what you're going to hit on the day. Okay? Um, you would take your last warm-up set and then uh, put on the bar exactly what you know you can get okay, for this first testing day. And you'll get a hand off and off you go. 